Okay, this is going to be a quick tutorial on fixing a 2011 15 or 17 inch MacBook Pro that has a failed AMD graphics card. So the first step, um, if you have one like this that you bought used, is to make sure that there is a hard drive or SSD in there with macOS installed on it. In my case, I have, I believe, El Capitan because I'm, I need that for something else I'm doing, but I would recommend High Sierra. And you're gonna power it on, and let's just see what it does. Yep, so if yours looks like this, you know it has the graphics card failure. Sometimes they show nothing at all. Sometimes they'll boot all the way. This one will not boot all the way, so we're gonna go ahead and shut it down. And try again. And you're gonna hold Command S while it boots. And you'll be met with this screen. You're gonna let it run through the code until it reaches the very bottom. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna visit the DOS Dude GPU Patcher, which I'll link in the description below. And we are on this step here, where you're gonna enter this command. You're gonna type it in to the command prompt. And you're going to type in reboot, and click enter, and hold down command R. And you can immediately see that those vertical lines are gone. And that means that this temporary reset has worked. So ultimately, I'm holding command R, but you really don't need to. Uh, so this is if you're running 10.11 or later. Um, am I on 10.11? So if you have El Capitan, um, or later, you're going to hold down Command R and boot into recovery mode. Now that we're in here, we're going to go into Terminal and type in CSRUTIL space disable, D-I-S-A-B-L-E, click Enter, do I not have that? CSR. Okay, well, if you're on El Capitan or later, you will have that, and then you'll click Reboot. And the machine should, yes, thank you, it should boot into macOS normally. When it has booted, we'll be right back. Okay, now that we are at the login screen, this next step is very important. You're going to want to go back to the DOS Dude website. So type in DOS Dude GPU or something along the lines there. And you're going to want to install this, click on this link here, which you're going to download a file that we have to run. And you'll have to open it through Finder like that. And what this is going to do is this is actually going to more or less permanently disable the AMD graphics. So you'll type in your password and run that. And it takes a few minutes, but when it's finished, you're going to click restart. And then your computer, your 15 or 17 inch 2011 MacBook Pro, should be fully functional without its AMD chip. So it will just run off the Intel HD 3000 graphics. And a couple final notes on that. I would recommend using the macOS Catalina patcher to upgrade to Catalina because otherwise, the sleep-wake function and the brightness controls will not work. They won't work on this um, with the fix we just did. So here you can see, um, oh well, okay. It says a 2011, but unavailable. There's no serial number on this board. 
So that's another project, and that's why I needed an older version of Mac OS, because I need to write the serial number to the board. But this is 2011. You can see HT 3002.3. But so yeah, restart the computer, and you should be good to go. And then I would recommend upgrading to Mac OS Catalina through the Catalina patcher. Um, so you don't have any problems with the brightness controls and the sleep wake function of the computer. So that's been it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or run into any problems, leave a comment down below and I will do my best to try to help you. Thanks for watching. Bye.